Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here with a video review of Whitethorf 392, perhaps uh, one of the most eagerly anticipated uh, Whitethorfs in a long time uh, because it has the preview for uh, the new 40k 6th uh, edition starter set, Dark Vengeance. So uh, I read through it and uh, took a look at all the minis and uh, all the new stuff coming out and uh, cruised by GW's website and checked out all the 360s of uh, uh, of the new miniatures and I gotta tell you man they by far are the best uh, starter set miniatures uh, GW has put out I mean they they blow away the Island of Blood minis they definitely don't even don't even compare it to the uh, <laughs> to the Blackreach stuff that they put out uh, I guess four or five years ago so it's good to it's good to see uh, you know the the technology level and the uh, intricacy of uh, the miniatures uh, increasing over time with them uh, taking you know strides to improve the techniques and uh, processing uh, for for the uh, for the miniatures is good to see. So um, you know I kind of I kind of read through the White Dwarf and uh, you know I don't know I just wasn't impressed with this one. Um, it just seemed really forced. Uh, so we'll, we'll, let's kind of get into it. Uh, first off. Uh, of course, there's the the huge section of uh, new releases uh, in here. With you know, you got Dark Vengeance, you got a audio book, another book, uh, a regular book, conventional book, I should say. Um, then there's the limited edition uh, Dark Vengeance box set that contains the Chaplin model uh, that everybody's <laughs> literally losing their minds for. I mean, it's great for GW and retailers. Uh, but it is it is just the the amount of interest has just like gone through the roof. I've never seen anything like it uh, in, in in all my years. Um, there is also the uh, starter box, or excuse me, the carrying case, figure carrying case uh, that can that looks like it's got a uh, laser cut foam in there um, to hold each of the uh, each of the Dark Vengeance miniatures. You know, so you can uh, store your starter box when you're not playing it with your friends I guess I don't know but it's interesting to see that kind of product coming from uh, coming from GW uh, traditionally that was something that was left to uh, the secondary market so I'm wondering if they're gonna take more of a stab at that um, I, you know I was talking to some people around the store and we all agreed you know the whole the whole secondary market is basically created by GW not offering things that they should whether it's not financially worth their time to do it um, so everybody kind of fights, fights sort of scraps underneath them from, you know, the, the, the bits, the various bit services to, you know, people like Chapter House designing new miniatures that weren't even out or, or even, you know, all these different phone companies out there from Sable to KR to, to even Battle Foam. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it's really remarkable that the, 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 the underbelly, the niche inside the niche has, it, it is, is created and it's just, it's just interesting to see. And I think, um, Sometimes I sometimes I feel like they could do they could do better to uh, offer better products, and I don't I don't know what's holding them back. But we have what we have from them, and I'm I'm grateful for that. And I'm also grateful that I have this bit service that I can offer uh, to people wishing to customize their figures, and it's great. But I just I don't know. I just I just feel like somebody's missing out somewhere on something, and it's it's kind of disappointing. So there's there's that there's that whole section of uh, new stuff. Then we've got uh, battle reports, all six scenarios for uh, apparently they come with the Dark Vengeance uh, box set. Now I'm sure there'll be uh, some sort of new new packet download or whatever on their site after the release, like they did with Blackreach. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I like the first scenario is actually uh, <laughs> um, you got to stop the rampaging uh, Hell Brute Dreadnought, <laughs> which is kind of funny because those things always go crazy. I I, just, I really hope they don't put that rule in. Uh, in the Chaos Codex, because it's just so annoying to have so much unpredictability in your backfield when you're trying to play an army. Um, then they go into the background for the whole, like, you know, uh, Dark Vengeance Crusade or whatever. I guess they're it's over an artifact or something like that. The Assault on Black Reach one was some sort of underground orc city thing, and there was this huge, like, orc submarines and stuff, and it was really neat to see played out over the couple issues of White Dwarf around the release of uh, Black Reach there. So who knows what we'll see this time. Um, then there's also a showcase of uh, of the uh, Dark Vengeance miniatures, some painted up different schemes, different things like that. I was kind of disappointed there was no painting article in this, 
and it was very genericized, like, hey, uh, here's this Alpha Legion guy, it's painted blue and green, like, literally, they say blue and green, well, thanks, I, I could tell that, there's freaking 30 different greens in your line now, which one, you know, like, I, I really, I really felt like they kind of did, did an injustice there, um, then there was a, a short Armies on Parade segment with some uh, some interesting space wolf, interesting looking space wolves. Uh, I, I thought they were cool, but I think the blue is a little little different. It's not my cup of tea, but I can't I can't really can't really hate on it. I mean, it looks good. Um, and then there was just like a random like section of uh, of, of fantasy in there, like uh, ancient grudge army. It was just like a little showcase, like. Hey, we're fantasy. We matter too in this issue. That's primarily almost all about white tool, or all about the new 40k starter box. So I don't know. The, the whole issue just seems kind of forced. The content kind of like whatever. Just an afterthought. Like, hey, let's let's show out a bunch of cool shit. Excuse my French. To you know, anybody that buys this is getting into a hobby. They're gonna want this stuff and they're gonna get excited, which is great. It's great advertising. Great marketing. But for the veterans out there, I kind of feel like we got pooped on. But whatever. Um, still still going to buy the White Dwarf. What can you do? So anyways, let's get to it. Uh, take a look here. There's your uh, there's your cover. Uh, here's a look at the, uh, the new miniatures. As if you haven't already seen these. Uh, there's your limited edition chaplain. All the Dark Angel stuff. And all the Chaos stuff there. Now, I got looking at it the other night. And I was kind of, I was kind of like, hmm, oh, those chosen are cool. And don't get me wrong, this model right here, super awesome, because it's got uh, there's little tentacles on his back, like holding his bolter, and then like another tentacles coming up and like reloading the clip, which I thought was holy crap, I've never seen that before. And if you do the 360 uh, view of the Hellbrute on a GW site, also amazing. <laughs> I was like, wow, just blown away. But then take a look at this, look at that model, and look at that model, literally the same model. Like, I mean, they used to do that with the the pewter miniatures, you know, and the box sets. You would, like, you buy a box five and you get, like, really get three models. You have two different ones and they would kind of turn at a different angle so you wouldn't notice. Well, hey, there's kind of at a different angle there. So, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on this. That would be nice to see, huh? All right, let's see if we can get you a little, a little better there. There you go. So, now you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So that was that was a little bit of a disappointment. I'm like, okay, that's cool, whatever. So you know, let's let's check out the cultists here. So you got your 20 cultists. They're like, all right, cool. But you know, let's zoom in on the close combat ones. Let's get this a little better for you. Okay, so you got the uh, you got the champion, which looks awesome, by the way. Kind of reminds me of the old uh, uh, Redeemer from um, the old War the Fanatic magazines. Uh, but then when you really look at it. How, how many models are you getting? That guy and that guy's the same. Mm, that guy and that guy's the same. That guy and that guy's the same. And that guy and that guy's the same. And then that guy, he has a flamer, and it's the same as that dude with the stubber, which, you know, if you get up here and look at the dudes with the auto guns, which I'm really hoping people let you use as, you know, counts as a last cannon, because that would just be silly otherwise. You got, you know, that guy. It was the same as that guy, which don't get me wrong. I mean, look at that model. That model's awesome. I don't mind getting two of those, sure. That guy and that guy, and that guy and that guy, and that guy. Well, maybe he's by himself. Well, whatever. So, you know, 20 miniatures, but really, you know, how many of them are new? I don't know. Not that many. I mean, it's it's cool, but kind of feel like got gypped a little bit. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sorry, like... I appreciate these models, and these models are awesome, and they're way better than anything that they've done before, but, come on. Alright, let's take a look at these. Now, Terminators, can't, can't even say anything bad about Look at the, look at the styling on them. Studded, ridiculous. Just pure ridiculous. Awesome looking. Love these guys. Kind of wish they weren't Dark Angels. Sorry to all you Dark Angel players, but, <laughs> I, I kind of wish we'd get some Chaos Terminators, but, you know, whatever. And the Ravenwing ones, also awesome. Uh, way better style than uh, than the multi part kit out there, which kind of also makes me jealous. Um, but then if you look at the uh, the tactical squad, which I get why they did the, they uh, they did the plasma stuff because that's their thing. That was the, Dark Angels was always able to have that's their fluff is plasma. You know, the first company they always had the best technology uh, and all that. But I mean, if you take a look close closer look, that guy and that guy's the same. That guy and that guy's the same. That guy and that guy's the same. 
and then you got random dude. Or no, that that and that guy's the same. So whatever, you left with one remainder. But still, so out of ten, you really have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess. Cause three are duplicated. But I mean what can you do? It it, it is what it is. It's I, I I don't know how much it costs to make this stuff. I'm sure a lot. So, you know, sometimes you gotta cut corners and all that, but it's just kinda it's like 49 minute shares, but, you know, 35 of them are new. I don't know. It just seems, for the price, you, you should probably get something better. And no, don't get me wrong. I mean, when it comes to, like, the Skaven and the Black Reach or the High Elves, they're, they're all the same because, you know, the rank and model, whatever, or rank of file. So you, you need a bunch of them, but it just feels like these are individual, these are supposed to be so full of character and yada yada. It just, it just kind of seems, I don't know, it's just kind of off-putting to me, but... Like I said, that's just me. Everybody loves them. Whatever. Uh, let's see. What's the next thing I want to show y'all? Okay, so there's a section where it goes into fluff on Dark Vengeance. The whole background and everything. Uh, then we got a section, like I said, about the uh, showcasing all the different paint schemes and different things. Um, about some of the heavy metal painters. Oops. This section there. Oh, th I thought this was funny. In the uh, in the battle report, they show like the cultists doing like a charge on Dark Angel Tactical Marines and the Company Master. Okay, um, I don't even know why you do that. Like I, I, I just kind of giggled. I was like, hmm, interesting battle report you guys have there. Uh, and then there was another one too. Oh yeah, they uh, they charge in against Terminators. Yeah, we're humans. Get them, boys. Ugh, whatever. Alright, and then here's uh, here's the painting showcase, not the heavy metal section, where I was talking about those, uh, those sweet looking um, Alpha Legion guys, but then they were like, hey, these are just painted blue, blue and green. Huh. Alright, cool. Well, they look good at least. Uh, there's a section, whoops, let me zoom out. Here's a section on uh, fantasy, it's about eight pages or so, give or take. Um, and then you get to the back, and you got your uh, Vents Diary stuff coming up for independent. Uh, retailers, store information, yada yada, ads, stuff like that, which pretty much takes up, I don't know, about a tenth of the magazine, give or take. Uh, and then the big thing, which uh, if you remember last issue, they uh, they they kind of messed up the uh, the ending because I guess nobody really expected demons to be coming out or whatever, and there was a big controversy about that. And then they, it looks like they you know, short printed the issue, they went back to change some stuff, they might have forgot to change the issue number. So now it appears that they learned from the lesson, and they don't even put an extra, uh, you know, in the preview page. They don't even put an issue number. They're just like, next month, Battle Rage is on. What? <laughs> I guess, I guess Chaos isn't coming out next month. Then I don't know. There's no issue number. We don't even know what that means. Maybe that's for some downloadable, you know, content for your starter box that you can get and play play more missions. I don't really know, but. It would be disappointing if we don't get chaos by the end of the year because there's been so many rumors going back so long on these guys. But then again, that's what's uh, you know that's what's on the spine is uh, you know that that chaos marine if you if you or that dark angels marine if you put all your uh, white torch together it makes that little panorama. So I don't know, just some stuff to think about. I mean, it's a good it's a good issue if you want to you know preview the dark vengeance and kind of see what they're doing with some different conversions and some you know. Some cool looking stuff, but uh, like I said, I, I just I can't get behind this shit, this issue because uh, it just feels forced. Uh, I don't know. It could be just me, you know. I, I would I wouldn't tell people not to pick it up, but it just it just feels really forced. So hopefully next month we'll get one with a little bit more content. Um, like I said, this is the first issue without a painting guide since they put out new paints in March. So who knows what that means? Anyways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my uh, fair use review of uh, the new issue of White Dwarf magazine currently on sale from uh, Games Workshop, uh, your local uh, FLGS, or your favorite e, uh, e retailer. So go ahead and uh, you know pick it up today and check it out and get ready for Dark Vengeance coming soon. Spiky bits.